Why, it was Poison Creek. Well, they built a school, and then all the people, the children of that area went to Poison Creek. And there was another school up at uh, uh, where the uh, Selvage River comes down in through Burns. This and that's where you grew up out there on the ranch? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. That's it's cattle. Cattle. It's all cattle up here pretty much. Uh, huh? Well, it was What about then, the sh uh, I thought it was you know. sheep. Well, sheep, sheep the, years ago, sheep are the Basque people from yeah, Spain, yeah. And, and they came and settled because uh, 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 it was wonderful grazing on the Steens Mountain. See, not much, uh, there's juniper trees and that, but no A lot one. of open, so green. Uh, uh, oh, yes, these rolling hills, the lower part of the Steens Mountain. Uh, why, that was all sheep. But then the, the government kind of came in and was trying to take over the BLM and that and ran. Uh, there is a few sheep, but still uh, a is very the few. Has the government that unfair to landowners and people out in these kind of areas? Oh, they, they get along pretty well as far as grazing rights. Uh, you know, the BLM has done quite a bit of, of uh, seeding areas. Uh, uh, where there's moisture to plant grass and, mm -hmm. uh, for the cattle, uh, mm -hmm. so and then they get so much. Uh, you have to pay though the people that uh, have cattle that have, want to graze on their land. They have to pay so much ahead to graze, you know. But it's worth it. I suppose. Oh yes, oh yes. It's, it, maybe it's a dollar ahead. Or, I never heard of the government making any money off of mineral <laughs> rights or any of that. You know, it's usually. <laughs> Kind but, of giveaways. Uh, but, to, uh, maybe, uh, of course, it goes up as prices go up just like everything else. Uh, I forgot what Dad did pay. Uh, and the Forest Service, where, where our place was, well, we went north up into where the timber. You know, on lease the, land. On the, lot, the, uh, the Forest Service land. Forest Service. See, there's the Forest Service and the BLM is more out in the, uh, the open Sheep. areas. And, uh, so uh, so your family was raising cattle when you were younger on the Oh, ranch, yes. Right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you have some pretty good acreage then, or did you well, lease uh, land like I say, uh, stuff, the, so. that uh, uh, there's four ranches now, and then uh, see when my, when my uh, grandfather settled here, and then, of course, married and had uh, three boys, my, my dad, uh, Glenn, and, and Clay and Cal. Uh, and uh, he was uh, six years younger than the, the, uh, from the, the middle boy, uncle, and uh, so when they passed away, then they inherited, the boys did, inherited part of the home ranch that was stayed, I mean, that's where the, you know, where he grew up, and, and uh, that's one of the four ranches now. Oh, wow. That's so good. You know everybody. Oh, everybody knows you, know, you. At my age are mostly they're starting to pass away you know I, I know <laughs> I know uh, you know the a lot of the old timers are gone just like <laughs> this uh, cemetery yeah. down here seems to be a pretty nice maybe place to visit too huh? well there's a lady here that uh, uh, that, uh, that we have uh, well she's worked on it for years uh, uh, the area where some of the homesteaders, uh, they, they uh, especially down toward the south end or at a distance away from the Arburn Cemetery, why they, uh, they buried their, their loved ones right on the ranch. Right on the properties, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or where there was a community started and, and then, uh, you know, uh, gee, there's voltage and so there's and, little, uh, the little uh, areas cemeteries. where there was there's a, a lot of abandoned little cemeteries that's it. That's out what there. She, and uh, that's what the, the three books we have up here. And she had took uh, all, uh, in all of Harney County, uh, tried to get ever if people knew of an unmarked grave. I mean, one or two, you know, then that she had uh, gone, and, uh, and then some of them, you know, were, were uh, just a, a few were a settlement like Blitzen, mm -hmm. Blitzen and Diamond and, and Druzy area and, and all those. So she had put it into a book form and did a lot of research. And and, uh, and then uh, the last one, is the last book, is our cemetery up here. And if you could imagine, it was 800 unmarked graves. I mean, with uh, tombstones uh, like uh, they But who was there? Uh, uh, there was they, no they, Well, record. they had markers. Uh, I can remember the markers myself, a, a little metal deal that just they stuck, uh, you know, about eight inch little with their name and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know, born, the age and so forth when they passed away. And then they stuck them into the uh, ground and then, of course, they'd fall over and be destroyed. And, but the city, uh, the 
you know, the city hall, they have all uh, those records. So then they started, she started in. Kind of logging it. And uh, all the, <laughs> there's a lot of, so her, uh, these three books, uh, the different areas, the Jersey Diamond, say Pieces of the Past. Oh, yeah, for Ernie Cemetery and, and, right there. And, 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 uh, and, uh, Historical uh, cemeteries. Oh, yes, and there's history, of, you know, of, uh, and, and pictures, a lot of pictures of what she's taken. And, oh, cool. But they would uh, go in and, oh, yeah, they, there's a, I went out, uh, you know. Uh, just overgrown with brush. Oh, yes, somebody. brush, and just clean them up. Nowhere. And, uh, and probably oh, on yeah, private oh, land. Oh, yeah, it's probably it's some are pri private land. Mm -hmm. The Harney, uh, now, of course, Harney is only uh, about 15 miles when you go east out Highway 20, like going to Idaho, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's been kept up. I mean, uh, you know, the people, young, you know, they try to keep it up and keep the weeds down and, <laughs> oh, yeah. and the graves. But, yeah, uh, no, that's a lot of... Uh, of uh, well, this uh, is a really nice, nice collection you have uh, here in the history. The sea, uh, uh, oh, here's the big one. Here's the bird cemetery, and uh, yeah, that bird cemetery. This is oh, this is your uh, the birds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and she's uh, this just came out just the, the last year. April. Uh huh. Oh, here's you the could, uh, if you had a loved one that you know that was buried up the burns, you look through here and can find this. Uh, uh huh. They probably still have room for some up. up well, there, it's yeah. pretty well filled. They have the yeah, well, open up some new. There's a the famous name from the area. Hewitt. I can see it is all back here. Uh, oh yeah, George and George. Yeah, George. Oscars, too. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Look at all that. The photographs really help bring oh, yes. it to life. Uh, uh, there's you know. a there's a, but more history of the see there's some pictures there too. Yeah. Well, it looks like she did the the complete. Oh yes, I mean that. Uh, you know it. This was her, Philip Green Wigan? No, her name is Mary Salisbury. Oh, it is uh, the one that, and then she had help uh, when it came to compiling the, the dates and all that. You know, she had all the plots. Yes. Yeah, they're all uh, alphabetic. On the record. Yeah. Alphabetic, mm -hmm. alphabetic. Yeah. The Burn Cemetery. And it's the same way with the, uh, you know, these here of the, uh, down here at. Uh, the crane, that's just 30 miles. That's that city. Here's Crane, and here. Uh, there's when the, the crane. Uh, Southward, huh? Uh, that's, uh, see, when the, the uh, from the Idaho Vale or Oregon, uh, and the crane came in to uh, uh, crane before it got to Burns. It was eight years, when, and then there's only 30 miles. But when they shipped cattle out 